While there are few ways to clear ground in void reliably, there's one way that stands head and shoulders above the rest in terms of how easy it is to build it for and how easy it is to use it. And it's pretty straightforward. The very weapon you get during the deadlock protocol is the best way to deal with specters in Granum Void. No need for mesas, embers, force spams of any sort. Zoris has a unique ability that only works in Granum Void. Its explosion from charged throw converts any errant specters into specter particles regardless of their level. And it absorbs them up to three times, which is then used up once you detonate a fully charged Zoris. That greatly increases the area of effect and basically wipes anything nearby. That feature can also be used to free up three captured Solaris within the area. Your fully charged explosion just needs to be relatively close to them. Pretty convenient way to get some free standing, as each Solaris gives you 300 standing. Freeing them up also extends your timer, and it's 20 seconds per Solaris, which can be of help. To build it, I will start with a baseline build anyone can put together. Critical chance, critical damage, damage, killing blow, corrupt charge, and viral. Optimal elemental against Aaron Spectres is corrosive, but I'll explain a bit later why I have viral here. For the last mod, you can put in whatever you like. Since it's a weapon specifically used for Grand and Void, I don't feel it's too bad to put faction mod, Smite Corpus. This is more than enough to wipe Grand and Void and reach tier 3 rewards every time, regardless of a mission tier. You can, of course, upgrade the build as you get better mods, but nothing really changes here. Just putting in better versions of mods you already have. Prime Pressure Point, Prime Toxin, Sacrificial Steel for higher critical chance. And here, you can see why I used Viral in my first build. To make it sort of comparable to this, because my Riven has cold on it, so I just kept Viral in because picking Optimal Elemental does not matter when you can just overkill damage. Protea is hella useful to farm, not just because she is one of the best wolf frames to make use of shield gating, but also to feed her to Helminth, because, in my honest opinion, her dispensary is an S-tier Helminth ability. It unlocks many wolf frames to struggle with energy management, and it even allows for some really unique builds. So to get two Proteas, you will spend quite some time in Granum Void, might as well make sure you can do it reliably. Another reason you will be spending time there is Sisters of Parvos, and for them, this is much easier as the kill count requirement is much lower. I'd even suggest doing this in Steel Path if you can, as even with this failed run of mine, where I tried to get to release that Solaris, but I ended up missing hits along the way and not refreshing the spawns as I moved, it still resulted in getting enough kills for a candidate to spawn. And Treasure takes 4 minutes to spawn, so it's just another minute in the mission to wait for an Acolyte to get that juicy steel essence. As you will likely wait for a Treasure to spawn to make up for that crown you just used to get in. Another general tip I have is something you could see from my failed run. If you move slowly and not clear enemies fast, then spawns are not being adjusted for you. As with anything else in Warframe, staying in one general area makes the game optimize spawns for that area. If you move around too much, then game tries to generate new spawns, but can't do it fast enough, as you are leaving some enemies behind that were supposed to be optimal for the old spot, but now they are just trying to catch you and are holding off new spawns because of spawn cap. You don't need to free up Solaris to get it done. It can be of help, but sometimes if they are too far, I just ignore that. I hope this helps. I've seen many people struggle with this, go in mesas or similar damage wolf frames, but all you need to do this is Zorus. Your frame doesn't matter, your strength doesn't matter, just proper choice of the weapon. Thank you for watching, subscribe to help the channel grow, and I'll see you in the next one.